Bo, imagine the situation. You have just spent quite a bit of time using InDesign to produce magazine spread, a, a collage for a mood board, or anything else you can imagine. And someone says, hey, let's put this on a t-shirt and print it. And you think it's a great idea. But the digital printing guy says, you need to have a high quality 300 DPI TIFF file, T-I-F-F, with no image compression. And he wants it from Photoshop. Now you are in InDesign. What do you do? Well, you could just go to Photoshop and say file open. And we need to go to the place. So let this one happens to be in here. I think it's week four. And we have a InDesign file, but we can't open it because it's not that compatible. So you've got to find some way of getting from InDesign oops, InDesign, to Photoshop. This is actually quite simple, but there's a few things you've got to do, a few hoops you've got to jump through. So, we go to File, and we want to Export. So, let's go for Desktop for now, we're gonna call this Trend Spread, because why not? So, um, the format here at the bottom is gonna be Adobe PDF Print. Okay, that's a nice high quality a bit of work. So save. Now here's where you can start playing with um, different settings and get quite a good results. So let's start with press quality. Okay, what are we exporting? We're exporting a range, which is pages two to three, which corresponds to this spread, because originally it was a magazine. And we don't want individual pages, we want it as a whole. So I'm gonna select spread. Now the rest of this here doesn't actually matter as far as doing, but what is important is compression. So anything above 450 um, pixels per inch will be bounced down to 300, but I want to be a bit more um, specific. So I'm gonna say anything above 300 becomes 300. So we're giving a 300 limit. Image compression, we, don't, we want none, absolutely none. So let's go and do this um, a bit more around here. So 300 there, no compression. Do not down sample. Actually, that makes it even easy. We could say that, but you know what? Um, you know, we keep we're trying to force this to be a 300 DPI image. So we're not compressing the image, but we're down sampling. Right there, we have that. There's other things here. We've got marks and bleeds. We don't want that to go with us. Um, outputs. We're going to leave everything else exactly how it is now. Um, that's all good. We're just making sure there's no other parts here. The most important part here is the compression because we don't want to compress what we're doing. Okay, so we've got this, click export. And with the power of computers, that's now created on our desktop, which I'm gonna just run to now, a nice little PDF. There we have it. But we're not done because we don't need a PDF, we need a TIFF. So let's go to Photoshop. Photoshop can open PDF, which is great. So file, open, and let's go to desktop. We see trend spread PDF. And look at this, what's happening? It's a resolution of 300 um, pixels per inch, which is great. We're gonna call it trend spread. That is exactly how we want it. So click okay. All right, here we have it. Uh, the first thing you notice that it's got no background because we had no color background in InDesign. Maybe you want to go this way, but it means that nothing white will be printed. If you want to have white backgrounds, very simple. Chuck in a layer, move it to the bottom there. Edit, fill, and we're using white. There we are. So we've now got this in Photoshop. Now remember this um, layer here, which we're turning on and off there, that is um, not editable, it's just one mass of stuff. That is fine. Let's turn this white on. File, save as. So, this is where we can choose lots of different formats, including TIFF, which is what we really want. Now, we want to save as a copy, and we don't want layers. Okay, we want this to be a flat TIFF. That's fine. So, click save. Now we get more options here. Now, this LZW for digital printing, you don't want that. So click as none. We're not compressing the image. Everything else here is absolutely fine as for, for purpose here. But like anything, if you're doing digital printing or any other technology, check with the expert who's um, running the software or running the hardware. 
um, ask them what they need, and if you need to make adjustments, make adjustments. Don't take my word for it, find out for yourself. But for what we're doing here, this is perfect. So click OK, and by the magic of computers, again, we have down here a TIFF file, which we can open up there. And that is now a flattened TIFF file, and let's see if I can prove that by going to Photoshop, File, Open, Desktop, TIFF, and let's have a look. Yep, that's one layer, it's flat. If we go a bit further and open up Bridge, it's just gonna... Okay, maybe Bridge is opening. Nice bit of software for telling you what um, files are like. So there we have, down here, let's try and pull this out. File properties. We have a TIFF image, resolution 3 and DPI, 8-bit depth, and CMYK color mode. So that is absolutely perfect for what we need it for. So that's how to take an image from InDesign and produce a TIFF for it for digital printing.